The final section, uh, the part two of this online Christmas concert is just a few, two more songs. Uh, but first, a prayer. I offer this prayer for all those who are, for good reason, expecting this Christmas to be a difficult one. You know, we, we talk a lot and sing a lot about tidings of comfort and joy, and certainly the Lord is our comfort, but there's a reason we need his comfort, because life can be difficult. And Christmas can be difficult for people. A lot of our expectations are based on our memories. A lot of our memories are now in the past, and maybe this year your life has changed, like mine has. My sister passed away in April, and we were very close. Um, I'm expecting Christmas might not be easy for me. What can you do, you know? Christ is born, and that's what I try to focus on. But anyway, I have a prayer that I wrote that I want to share with you before I sing a new song, and then we'll do a familiar one to end. I wrote this prayer keeping in, years ago, um, when I wrote my book, I was laughing because I watched the uh, beautiful Daughters of St. Paul online Christmas concert uh, recently, and um, I was telling my sister Eileen that uh, I was very impressed with how well produced it was. The sound was mixed and the lights were good, and I was a little bit envious because it's just me and my light and my camera and my guitar and piano here in the church without all the special effects and with all the mistakes. But um, I was laughing because I said, and they kept talking, it was like a commercial, they kept talking about their ministry and asking for donations. She said, well, you keep talking about your books and CDs when you do these videos. And I said, oh yeah, never mind." So anyway, my book is called Coming Home to Christmas Through Advent. It's available on Amazon. And um, if you're looking for something to read, there's a section of prayers in the middle of it. And here's the one I wrote. A prayer for those who are suffering this Christmas. Maybe that's you. Heavenly Father, you hold all of creation in your hands. As we prepare for the awesome feast of Christmas, turn our hearts in prayer towards those whose lives are more sorrowful than joyful mysteries at this time. It was your great compassion and desire to save us that caused you to send your son born in Bethlehem. To a suffering world in darkness, in need of a Savior, you gave this perfect gift. And we now ask your grace for those most in need of your presence in their lives when they're feeling absence of others. Bless those who are suffering chronic pain, the grieving, the refugees, the homeless, the quarantined. Inspire your people to be generous in their outreach to those in prison and the families of prisoners, to people in hospice care, hospitals, nursing homes, and to victims of, of emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. Send your healing grace to the addicted that they might find treatment, healing, and sobriety. Lord, have mercy on the mentally ill, on couples whose marriages are strained or broken. Help them to know that Jesus is our wonder counselor, our prince of peace. May those who lack hope and languish in darkness, begin to see the great light of Emmanuel, God with us. Remind us, Lord, never to take for granted our blessings of health and well-being. The holly and the ivy of our festive season can also symbolize the thorns of Jesus' crown and the blood he shed for our salvation. In a similar way, the wood and the nails of the manger that hold the infant Jesus foreshadow his saving sacrifice on the cross. We praise you, Lord, for bearing all our ills and for offering us the promise of a remedy for our suffering when we unite our crosses to yours. Come, Lord Jesus. Hear our prayer. Amen. So this song I wrote, 2004 I wrote the lyric um, when my nephew Jimmy had died in an accident that year, and that Christmas was, up until that point, the most difficult one for my family, especially my brother and his wife and his two daughters and, and the rest of us who loved that kid. But um, when I first wrote the lyric, it was in my journal, and I didn't know that I'd ever put it to music or share it. I was just kind of letting out my feelings. And it was called The Bummer Christmas, and I thought, 
well that is just going to depress people i don't think i could ever share this song but during this year the pandemic i thought you know i i need to really look at that song and rename it so bummer sounded too much like california surfing dudes you know i'm not one of those by my pale irish skin so i changed it to title to uncomfortable christmas Lord, come carry my family through Christmas. Disconnected from comfort and joy. As we smile through the tears, looking busy. And somehow still rejoice in your boy. Who was born to share in our sorrows he has power to lift boulders of pain shepherd us through this grief stricken snowstorm burdens weigh us down like marley's chains it's more than blue Absence all too true, feeling numb to their holiday glee. There's a too empty space, one less beloved face. A most uncomfortable Christmas you see. Perhaps we'll learn compassion. This Christmas, try to tune out the carols and bells. Now aware of how many souls suffer, hear the tale of what clutched tissues tell. It would all be in vain but for Jesus. Turns anxious self pity to come. We've no strength for much more than this simple. Christ, our good news, poor, mercy healing bomb. Can people tell that we hurt like hell? A little Christmas is more than we need. Families gaping holes, dressed up wounded souls, an uncomfortable Christmas indeed, an uncomfortable Christmas indeed. To focus on our Savior is our most important task. Come light our deepest darkness and let us bask. As church bells peal, we begin to heal broken ones, make some room for his peace. As the shepherds kneel, the Son of God, your about us, it's your feast. This day's not about us, it's your feast. Lord, come carry my family through Christmas.